All right, Devils, how are we doing today? So it's uh, Friday the 10th of May, and I'm going to start out here with uh, Digibyte. Now, this was uh, tied to a, a poll that we did on Twitter, so some of you may have seen that. And it's kind of interesting, so many people asking for this, because, the, I, I mean, I guess I understand it as a technician. This is a great example of a, just a complete breakdown of a wave count, right? I mean, so the, to be clear, right, I mean, the... An Elliott count is just a potential guideline. It's never the, it, we're not trying to predict the future, really. We're just trying to create probability zones and looking for patterns that are prone to repeat to continue to repeat. So you have here just, uh, this breaks down on multiple levels. Now, there, there are some interesting things to note here. So it, it appeared as though we, we, it, was, it looked similar to Bitcoin. So we had, we had this, this, the, an impulse here is a little, yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's there. We, we definitely have an impulse into the one. We, well, we end up with a double top. Then we've got, it's very similar to Bitcoin. Then we, then we get the ABC that comes down. Now, here's where you get a, a complete breakdown. So I'm on a four hour here. I happen to be on Poloniex against the dollar. Now, I should I should say this, right? So because there were requests for uh, Digibyte and it wasn't clear whether people wanted to see it relative to Bitcoin or to the dollar. It's so bloody awful against Bitcoin, right? particularly considering the rip in Bitcoin, that I, there's not much I can say here. This is just a, just, just, just a turd, right? You just, if you brought this chart up, right? so my assumption is, right, with zero here, people are, you know, this is, this, there was a time when this was a, a hot project. So what what would you have to lean into here on on uh, against di uh, pardon me against Bitcoin? Maybe you can make a case here for some longer term. We, we're coming back to the point of control. I pretty much got the entire. Well, there's the that one craziness when it hit. So maybe you make a case. You're here to some long term support, but I wouldn't personally. I wouldn't go near this until we break that trend line, and then I'd look for some sort of a retrace to come back here and test the other side of it. And then potentially, maybe then you set up a move like that. But with this just going straight down and zero close by, I mean, unless you're, you know, of the ilk and the thinking that, well, you know, it's as, as long as they don't go to zero, the potential here is substantial, right? I mean, if we're going to go back eventually at some point, alts are going to get rolling. This is likely to be one that could move. But right now, there's just nothing that I can really there's no benefit to a wave count here. There's nothing really I can say other than if you like it, well, you know, this is a reasonable spot to be a buyer, but there's no technical reason to be long here off of a wave count or an algo pull or any, anything like that other than just, just coming back to this longer term support. So it's really, it's not a technical buy. It's a buy because you like the project. I mean, I, you can come over here. I mean, this is a site I like, as I mentioned to you guys before. I mean, the, the, I mean, Digibyte is a strong project, but you know, they're 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 at a strong sell, right? That's just going to be momentum based. It was always fairly good on their on their algo scoring here. You know, so if you're interested in this project, and you don't know a lot about it, or I'm assuming if you're interested in it, all the people requesting this on Twitter, it kind of surprises me. But so there definitely there's a there's an interest in the project, but the the chart is just just hideous right I mean why why would you why would you be looking here so uh, other than we're to this long-term base so with, I probably, probably beat that horse dead enough okay so let's go back to uh, let's go back to the dollar <clears throat> so I, I'm, I'm here right so we have a complete breakdown of an LA account so I, I, I wanted to spend a little time here just to make that point that counts break down all the time. Now, this was off to a fairly good start. I mean, obviously, we got a perfect tag of the median line here. I mean, you know, just is, it's a very deep pull here. And it wasn't there wasn't anything particularly juicy here. I mean, we, you know, we're, shit, you'd have to go 887. I put the... Um, Get the 887 on here. Do we hold that? Well, you know, so you're at the absolute extreme. You know, we do stay. We do, we, we maintain an internal retracement here. But then coming off of this, right, so the first problem here, it looks like we get a clear impulse. One, two, three, four, very close. The one holds it. Likely you have to go A, B, C and truncate the C here to get to get three in that. And then up we go for the five. So at that point in time, now let me let me take this some of this off here with so that you've seen that here. So let me let me pull this off. And so if you're sitting over here at this point, let's see if I can open this up. 
you you don't know what's coming. I mean, you you it's. Well, let's see. Let's do it this way. It it would have been. Right. I mean, I any anyone who uses Elliott Wave would have been looking here thinking, oh, one, two, oh, well, we didn't make the one, six, one, eight, but I've got an impulse, so I've got a candidate for my third here. We start the retrace, and so of course it means we have to have a shallow retrace. Now look, look at look at what happens here. So look as we come right to the pivots here, what happens right on this? Do you see this little nugget right here? So right, so there's the attempt to hold. So this could have been the Oh shit, where's my three? So this could have been your three. It's coming down, you need it to hold, right? If we're gonna stay in an impulse, right? It's because we have an impulse here. So it comes to that pivot, we get a bounce, but it's not, can't, can't, can't hold it and it breaks. So immediately you have a problem because now that means we've got a we've got a diagonal, so you gotta rethink it. So now you might have been thinking, okay, well maybe or you know, it, it ends up being technical as well. So if I grab grab this pivot here to this, right off of this impulse, we come 50 to the tick. We do get a reaction, but we don't make target. We don't we don't make the algo target, right? And it, it, it happens all the time. Just because they're there doesn't mean they must be met. But so you now you'd be thinking, okay, one, two, maybe I've got a one, two since I went to a 50. So one, two, uh, are we going for the three? Of course, now that breaks down, right? This is all, of course, obviously, right? the benefit of hindsight. But you might have been thinking, oh, okay, maybe I can rework this, and now, oh, I've got an impulse. I can probably work a five into that. So now you might be thinking, oh, okay, well, it's a diagonal, so I'm going to go A, B. You know, of course, you'd want more in that C, but you don't get it. But you wouldn't have in completely invalidated the count yet. So now you're thinking, mm, okay, I got a diagonal. So I've got a one, I've got a two, I've got a three. Now I'm looking for a four up, up for the five. Yes. Get that up, bear with me here. We'll get that. Okay, so that, that's what you're thinking here. One, two, three. Oh, ah, okay, well, it's an ABC. All right, well, that's a bummer. Okay, I was hoping for an impulse. Three, four. Now, let me pull this off. Okay, so you're thinking, all right, I got an impulse going. Or pardon me, I've got a diagonal going. Okay, is there any chance for this diagonal to be continuing on here with this? Well, <laughs> I, so, okay, so right in, in a diagonal, we always want to check for something technical between the start of the one, the pivot of the three. All right, well, we've broken golden zone. Now we're heading towards the seven, eight, six. You do have, you can see this little impulse that's trying to finish down here, but it does not look like it's finished. So the depth of this, you know, shit, is it possible? Yeah, of course, right? I mean, as long as we hold above, as long as we hold above the proposed too low here, you've got a contender. Ugly as it is, but you could, I mean, I suppose you could still call it a diagonal. I wouldn't trade it myself. I, I just, it's not, when you break this, when you break the 6.5 on a diagonal, the... <clears throat> You know, the odds of this going met now and getting that target are, are, are not great, right? It's not good enough. I mean, could it happen? Sure. But why? So you've got, you've got no algo to, on the buy side here to get behind. So before you could even get an algo, you, you're going to need a move here and then a 50 to get something that you can get behind. So I certainly wouldn't be trying to buy the, the low here. This, again, this doesn't... Let's say B. Does that make? You could have one, two. It looks like we're not far enough into the three. So my expectation would be that this is not quite done here. So even let me pull this off. Even if we're thinking A B coming down for the C, looking for a relationship between the length of the A projected from the proposed B. Yeah, hundred one two seven two. That's very common, particularly in a diagonal. So. But a four at that depth, so you're trying to trying to build a case for this as a leading diagonal. You're gonna come all the way down here and then go up here. I mean, I I wouldn't trade it. I, you know, I just it's, why right? So there's just no reason to do it now. If if now if you got some for whatever reason, right? So all start to roll this you know we don't we don't take out this low i guess we can take this off here and you and you got started on something here if you got a little move i mean that's a pretty good sized move but if you got that 
then, then give me a little three wave. Now I'm, I'm much more comfortable taking that because I'm, I've got a clear exit and invalidation point. So if I think I've got a pivot down here, again, I don't have it, but if I had a, a 272, you can see here, I've got a little base of support from all of that trading that's right here. So if we come down to that level, let me just draw it so we can keep it, keep it in context. If we come down to this, is that the four to this two? Again, you know, unlikely, but not 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 impossible, right? I mean, oh shit, anything can happen, right? So, we, but we come up here. But as an Elliott trader, we can't we cannot allow that to overlap. So this is your last stand here to try and cobble together a, a, a some sort of an ugly diagonal. I just I wouldn't take this here, but this I'm you know if I'm if I'm a digibyte bull and I really like the project and I'm looking for a reasonable risk reward, just the just the potential upside here on assuming you're going to go out and at least challenge this high. You know, maybe you can put a trade together there for one two uh, for li likely not to just go straight. Now we're in a diagonal, remember? So you're ex you're anticipating something more along the lines of an ABC, right? Well, uh, we don't know what shape this is going to take, but you're looking for an ABC because we're trying to finish a diagonal. I, I, I sure as hell would be waiting. So even coming down here, just out of curiosity, if I pull this, how do we look to that pivot? Mm, you know, we're kind of hovering around the, the median line. You got a couple to choose from here. Well, this is the this is the higher this is the higher one, so I'd use that so we're you know kind of hovering around this is not uncommon to hover around the median line but at some point here we're either going to go we're either going to going to stay in this kind of hovering around it you, you do often see that or we're going to break down to to this side to the lower parallel and invalidate any idea that we had a we had a potential motive wave or we're going to hit this level and now we're going to start to go and then the retrace this as we bump into all of this this base here, all of this volume and potentially the support here could set you up to get started on that ABC to get out of here. But I would not be trying to pick that turn. There's just no reason to. Why? 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 You, you know, what are you going to miss? Very little. And you've got a very ugly, ugly looking, I mean, barely, you're really stretching to call this a motorway. What I just see is a failed wave count. So, is it ABC? Well, you can probably make that case. You just got an ABC, and now this shit, this could be one, two. We're going into the three, four. And you got to pay attention to where zero is. You got a little room. So if this is an ABC, this could all just be relabeled, and now you're just you're coming down here, and you're going one, two, three, going in four, and you're looking for a five down here. So with with all the options on the board. You know, if you love the project, uh, that, that's the technically that's your best case. Otherwise, I'd be waiting. I just think there's better opportunities. Why park? Can why park any capital here until this starts to improve? Just just no need to. In my in my opinion, right? For what that's worth. All right, guys. There you go. So interesting choice. All right, hopefully, this this comes back to life. All right, I got a couple others to do, and we'll take a look at Bitcoin today, of course, too. All right.